Hello, my beautiful people. You all are welcome once again to the Levers Logo Message Studio. And if this is your first time coming across this channel, I don't want to miss messages like these that we're posting on this channel. And kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And if you like what we're doing on this channel, that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee, then kindly use the thanks button below. We're gladly appreciate it. So, on this message today, we're going to be talking about how to overcome masturbation and this message is just like a personal testimony to me because I overcame, I personally overcame masturbation through listening to this message and reading the book titled The Concept of Sin. And if you're a victim of masturbation and you're been finding it very hard to overcome it, then you really have to watch this video to the end. And if you want to download a book titled The Concept of Sin, then log on to your Play Store or uh, your Apple Store search for pastor chris digital library and download it download the app and search for the book titled the concept of sin you will see it there and if you're finding it difficult to download it then please do let us know on the comment section and we'll show you the guidelines on how to download it and please do not forget to share this message for it to help us to share the gospel all around the world and i'm gonna go reverend to chris Oyakilomi is going to throw more light on this message and uh, if you want to tell us how this message has been a blessing to you, then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section. And do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and keep watching. Got lots of questions from all around the world. But, um, you know, every human problem, every genuine human problem, or every genuine human question has an answer or a solution in the word of God. The problem with a lot of people many times is that not too many people like to um, take the time to study the word, to search the scriptures. Jesus said to search the scriptures. Paul the apostle said that we should study. Study. So Jesus said study a search. Paul said study one of the same thing. Take time with the word because the answers to all questions are there. Now I'm going to take them from, uh, I'll take them one by one. The first one is from Timothy Christus from Russia. He says, I still don't understand you, Pastor. Can you please explain again why masturbation is not a sin? Because without imagination, there's no masturbation. Jesus said, if you look at a woman lustfully, you have already committed adultery. When one is masturbating, he imagines an evil thought, which makes him to sin. So, sir, what do you say? I don't think it's a question of what do I say. It's what does the word say? Timothy Christus is asking, can you explain why masturbation is not a sin? Because without imagination, there is no masturbation. Maybe the first thing I'd like to ask is, um, what is masturbation in the first case? Secondly, are you, do you practice it? Or have you spoken to those who do? Because you're telling us um, how it works. So, the important thing is, what is sin? That's the very first thing. What is sin? What I find in many Christians is that not many even have an understanding of the concept of sin. What is sin? Now, I have a, the, the, the teaching, and um, this teaching is in good detail. The title is The Concept of Sin. You need it. It will help you understand what the Word of God calls sin. Remember, sin is not what we say it is. Sin is what God says it is. Sin is what God says it is. And that's very important. And you said something here in your question. You said, without imagination, there's no masturbation. Jesus said, if you look at a woman lustfully, you have already committed adultery. Okay. Now... 
Um, there's a second question that's coming, that's connected to this one. I'll read that, then I'll answer all of you. This is from Karabanda from Zambia. It says, Dear Pastor Chris, I'm one of the many believers that have been inspired and transformed by your ministry. I now know who I am in Christ. Now, I've been disturbed by news that is going around the internet that you said that masturbation is not a sin. I would like to hear it from you. Did you actually say masturbation is not a sin? And <laughs> why? Wonderful. Why are you concerned about whether I said it or I didn't say it? The, the question is, what does the Word of God say? Have you ever studied the Word for yourself? Now, whatever you think, the first thing you should do is go to the Word of God and study for yourself. Now, let me put it this way. If a man stole bread, a loaf of bread from a shop and ate it, does that mean that eating of bread is sin? Because he stole bread from a shop and he ate it. Was, when, was, when was his wrong? Did he go wrong because he ate bread? Does that mean that eating of bread is, is wrong? The problem is not the eating of bread. The problem is that he stole the bread that he ate. You have to understand the word of God. You, you said, you brought up something here in connection with what Jesus said, that whosoever looketh on a woman lustfully, and Jesus actually said that. He said, I've already committed adultery in his heart. Great. That means the sin was committed in the heart. So if you say that imagination goes with masturbation, where is the sin? The sin is therefore your imagination of sin. See, now if you, let me read you the words of Jesus in St. Matthew's Gospel, and I want you to listen to this very carefully because it will help you. St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15. From verse 16, Jesus said, Are ye also without understanding? Do not ye yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth into the belly and is cast into the drop? But those, those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man? For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashing hands defileth not a man. You know what Jesus is saying? He says, your sin came out of your heart. It's not what you did with your hands. That's the problem. It's what caused whatever you did. That means your sin begins from your heart. So how did you understand it? Jesus lets you know. It's not what you did with your hand that's the problem. It's what you did with your heart. You can have these imaginations while reading the book. You can have these wrong imaginations while you're eating your food. So the evil conceptions of your heart is where you've got a problem. So what do you clean, your hands or your heart? Your heart. So um, what I want you to do in helping yourself, because you're not gonna, you're not gonna accept something because somebody said so. You're gonna have to know the word of God for yourself. And I said, place an order for the teaching titled "The Concept of Sin," the audio, um, the audio CD. The Concept of Sin is the title. It teaches you in the Word of God from the Old Testament to the New Testament everything you've got to know what the Bible says about sin. What is sin? What does God think sin is? How does the Bible define sin? How do we deal with sin? It's all in that teaching. So that will help you. Okay. Thank you all for watching that wonderful episode and I believe you've been blessed by that message. 
and if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this please do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel and you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee then kindly use the thanks button would gladly appreciate it so if you want to know how to buy the book to order the book the concept of sin please do let us know on the comment section and please do not forget to share this message for you to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it also helps this channel to grow so stay tuned to receive you next time we love you and god bless you and thanks for watching